So, so we can turn down the Now it's only the arpeggiator working, right? Mm -hmm. So we can go to uh, the arpeggiator and look how that works. Uh, and one thing I want to highlight is that, you know, it's the same effect, right? But they have different parameters. So you have that the storage is clever. And the fun thing is that all the communication between the front end and the server is using uh, MIDI over WebSocket. So I'm just, uh, you know, hijacking the MIDI proto protocol because it's so efficient to send these parameter values. Um, so uh, we can go to the event now. And unfortunately, I can't, I can't disable the arpeggiator. I'm not here that, but I can, I can slow it down. And you heard that's that's the octaves. And here we have the um, the shape. So we can go random here, right? Random. And we can also change the synth. And this is <laughs> this is the most ugly part. Here we go. Uh, so and the knobs. Uh, if this is uh, A, B, C, D, s then s the synth is on A, B, and C, 1, 2, 3. Here you have the emitter sending the stuff back to the master uh, chain. So um, let's just, you know, we can. <laughs> And we can uh, change the, we can make it a bit. So on the, we go to B3, where the um, envelope for the VCA is. And we go to the arpeggiator, D. D1 is the uh, event, right? So here we can change the octave a bit. Now we can go to the D3 because there we have the effect. Take down the speed of. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's easy to go wrong. So you, you, I sh there should be labels for these, right? And we have two delays, so we go back to we go back to the delay view, so we can see them. So effects. So here is the first. Uh, and here is the second delay. Uh, no, sorry, we go that way. And we can do a fun thing with the arpeggiator. So we go back to the arpeggiator. There's no labels here on the on these uh, because I don't want to put labels with HTML. I want to use a backgrounding image so you can do something more creative. And how these are defined, <coughs> you can just look at the arpeggiator here. How this is defined, uh, you go to the components and uh, eventers, and this it's the same structure really as the backend with uh, different modules and but here is the front end representation of them so what i've have done is that i have actually chosen not to render them in a dummy way i've, I've chosen to you 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 give them 
coordinates um, but it's a bit like in a grid system so that this this value is multiplied with say 16 uh, but this way you can create more uh, you know organic and fun things and you should uh, or have a, like a background image instead of this maybe a bit you know what is it some kind of ice cream color uh, so oh my this sounds nice you know and uh, on top of this you have this um, you know windman so here you can bring up the metronome and you have the you know alert boxes so that's the windman part of it sitting around so that's loads of architecture being built here and also the goal with that is to not being too tied up to any javascript framework nobody knows what happens with svelte but these uh, agnostic um, uh, architectural ideas they don't have any ties to any framework uh, okay i hope you enjoyed this video um, i'm struggling between keeping this uh, fun for myself and finding time to do it and everything and i also want to highlight that if you think this is a cool project and you want to contribute you can't do that currently because you know i'm in the middle of everything and i i don't have the time to manage an open source project but what you can do i don't uh, i'm not asking for your money but what you can do if you want to is that you can just buy me a coffee and i will have more time uh, i can take time off from work and stuff like that to to um, to make this happen Okay, uh, take care everyone. Uh, see you. Cheers.